Hey guys, uh, welcome to College United Engineering with Bongan Gumede. So today we'll be doing Moto Sequence uh, Sequence 3 uh, simulation. Okay, the statement says that uh, Moto 2 cannot be started before Moto 1. And then it says that Moto 1 cannot be stopped unless if Moto 2 is stopped. And then Moto 2 can stop on its own. Okay, so let me go online. So the statement says that before you can start your Moto 2, you must start your Moto 1 first. And when both motors are running, you cannot stop your Moto 1 unless you stop your Moto 2 first. So Moto 2, stopping Moto 2 will enable Moto 1 to be able to be stopped. Not that it must stop automatically. Okay. So this is what I've added here. I've added a normally open contact of KM2. On the stop button of uh, motor one okay so uh, uh, please follow my mouse uh, so that you can see where I'm pointing if 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 uh, if I pressed the, if I press the stop button while both motors are running it won't your, your motor one won't be able to stop because of current will be able to escape on this side Okay, let me show you what I mean. So, I'm pressing the start button now. Okay. Okay. And immediately when I, I, I press the start button for motor 1, what happens is that the coil energizes and its motor is rotating. And then we've got... Uh, the normal open is now normally loose. Okay, so and then I come and start the other motor as well. Okay, yes. So immediately when I start motor two or 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 uh, KM two, what happens is that the normally open now becomes a normally loose. On the stop button, remember we're introducing a normally open on the stop button. And the normal open is for KM2. In such a way that as these motors are running, if you come and press the stop button, okay, let me press the stop button. You see what happens? It opens, but your motor one doesn't stop rotating see I'm pressing but nothing is happening okay nothing is happening why because of when okay let me try it again to show you again you see so we, it does we do have an open link here whenever we press the stop button but now currently is escaping on the normally open that is now a normally close which is your 15 and your 16 so current goes all the way but check something if i press the stop button and stop your motor 2 what happened is that the coil of motor 2 de-energizes and then that normally um op uh, normally close it is now gone to its original position to being a normal open so now when I come and press the stop button and say, eh, no, no, yes, when I press the stop button, is that your motor one will be able to stop. So that's what we mean. But um, another thing is that I've introduced a normal open of KM1 inside the start button, but I've already explained this on sequence two and sequence one. Okay, so you can watch the video of sequence two and sequence one to understand that. So let me start the whole process again okay just one moment moto one has started and then we start moto two so according to the statement you must not be able to stop your moto one until uh, moto two stops so that's what we're achieving we're trying to stop but nothing is happening but when we stop Moto2, now we can be able to stop our Moto1, okay? 
So that's it. But now remember the first statement. It says that you must not be able to to start uh, Moto 2 before Moto 1. So if I come and press the start button, nothing is happening. But uh, there's uh, there's another part that uh, I have to mention here. Let me press the start button. Okay, Moto 1 is running. And Moto 2 also is running. Remember the the last part of, of the statement on this sequence tray. It says that Moto 2 can stop on its own. So, meaning that you can stop Moto 2 on its own. So, let's just try to do that. Mm, okay, I've just stopped Moto 2 and it has stopped. But your Moto 1 is still continuing to run. So, that's what uh, we, we achieved. But now, as, uh, we achieved that by adding this normally open of KM1. But remember, I said that I explained that in the previous video. So you can watch the previous video to be able to understand uh, what I mean there. Okay. So the, always on your sequences, it will say your emergency stop must stop everything. So if I press the emergency stop now, everything has stopped. Okay. And then we, we can check uh, also with your uh, 95 and 96. Uh, this is in case of, uh, of overload. Okay, I'm trying to stop it. Uh, okay, it seems like I still have to program this one. But yeah, so if, if, if you understand the normal open and the normal close, then you are ready to go. So I think I just have to... Okay, it does stop when I'm, when I'm doing the emerging stop. But yeah, it seems like it has to have overcurrent or something. But I will program that on the next video, hopefully. So thank you for watching and let's meet on the next video. Sharp, sharp.